I've made one of my greatest discoveries. Peace. It was buried deep within me, and now I can finally see. I see the road ahead, and for the first time in a long time, I can see myself. My life was not meant to be spent inside a cubicle, so I made a decision right then and there to follow my dreams, to find something that I'm passionate about, and to chase that career of adventure. I'm originally from Texas and then grew up in Virginia and ultimately St. Louis. And ever since I was a kid, I was always getting into trouble outdoors, running around, playing with snakes, running through the creeks, digging in the mud, and just loved being outside. I would leave in the morning, I'd come back at night for dinner, and that's what I would do every day. And that led to really enjoying and loving being in the Boy Scouts. Looking back, I see what a huge impact the Boy Scouts and becoming an Eagle Scout had on me. It gave me the confidence as a kid that I carried with me in life. I let successes like this drive me, not failures. So for me, it was, you know, I realized, hey, I can set my goals as high as I want, the highest thing there is in Boy Scouts, and achieve them. And from there, it just led, in life, I've always tried to set high goals and go about achieving them. So Boy Scouts, to me, was a very instrumental part, a huge stepping stone to my life and the future ahead. In high school, my focus was on academics and sports. I played football and loved every minute of it. Then, when it was time to go to college, I decided to narrow that focus and major in business because I thought that would give me the most options outside of school. After graduating college from SMU with my two degrees, I decided to pursue a career in the internet industry. The internet was booming, it was so exciting, there was so much going on, and I thought it was the next stepping stone for me because I love the outdoors, I love adventure, and, and all the challenges that come with that, so I thought this career would be a replacement for all of that. It's not that I didn't like my office job, but I didn't love it either, and I wanted to feel passionate about what I did. I wanted to feel the way I felt when I'd summit mountains or swim with sharks. So I had to figure out how I could make that my career. And then totally out of the blue, an opportunity came about to be on the show Survivor. And it came about a month later, I'm on a, stuck on an island in Panama, not knowing what's going on, but realizing that when every single thing was stripped away, mo money, um, anything material, everything taken away, I was as happy as I've ever been. Just living off the land, catching food, you know, playing this challenging game, but at the same time very strategic, so I was using a lot of the things I learned. A lot of the skills as an Eagle Scout definitely came into play. And then I, that show ended, and I went back to my regular job. Then I really started thinking, my, my biggest passions in life are, are outdoors, adventure activities, and challenges for myself, both physically and mentally. My compass really moved me. When I got back from Survivor, I went back to my job, and while I was happy in my job, I was being challenged, and it was a great career path that I was on. It just wasn't really my passion. I wasn't running out and telling people, oh, listen to my new project, listen about this and that. So I, I started looking for something else, and my compass really changed when I started to go into adventure travel and when I started a production company. And I started not loving what I did, but doing what I loved. And that was the biggest change in my life, and now, I'm doing every single thing that I would be doing in my spare time as part of my job, and it's, it's unbelievable. Everyone has something that excites them, that moves them. Unfortunately, some people don't have jobs that affect them in that way. I know change may seem intimidating, but it's essential in life, and all of us have what it takes to make these changes that will make us the happiest we can be. Right now, I'm happier than I've ever been in my life, and it's because I'm really living my passion. It's my job is working in production projects all over the world where I get to share my adventures with people and tell stories and I'm, I'm growing myself, I'm teaching other people and it all happened because I really went out and I chased my dream to do something outdoors, to do something that involved travel but to still use my education and running productions and being involved with all of it and it's, it's unbelievable. Now I know everything that I do may not be for every other person. Some of it might be a little too dangerous or uncomfortable or just flat out not fun, but the bottom line is I'm doing what I love and what I'm so passionate about. And I think, you know, life's too short not to do that. So the one thing I would say to people is go out, find out what you love, set a goal, go after that, stick with it, and chances are you're going to be so much happier than you are doing whatever you're doing today if it's not along that line.
tomorrow. Life is unpredictable. You don't know what tomorrow will bring, so embrace the future with valor and continue to blaze your own extraordinary path. The needle on your compass is always adjusting to find out what's exactly right for you. What's important is that you need to do your part, and that is to watch, to learn, to listen, to hear, to pay attention, and to take that advice that you get from inside to guide you in exactly the right direction. There are going to be setbacks, disappointments, modifications, delays, sickness, deaths. There will be challenges. You will feel off-center. You will get new insights, new revelations, new things that will come to you. The question is, how will you deal with it? Be still, go within, and then move accordingly. You get influenced either in large ways or in small ways, but every day something changes you. Be prepared for it, embrace it, and move forward. Remember, life is a continuous progression of changes and difficulties and ups and downs and trends, and your job is just keep moving forward. Be open to the experience. Stay connected to current reality with curiosity, and enjoy the ride. Hang on. It's not like you were moved once and then you just somehow play it out. You moved once, it set a new direction, and then the new direction is to just always be compassing. Pay attention to the opportunities that are there and trust that that's where you're supposed to be. And keep going. Don't do things that are insignificant, that are gonna waste your time. Be determined to choose things that are going to make your life more abundant and more fulfilling. And though the values will change along the way and the destinies, the summation of all your destinies will make up your life journey. Your soul calls your life's journey. Your mind plays with the destinies. Your physical body will adjust them. You will refine them along your way. That's how you master your life. So when your compass moves you one more time, what do you do? You celebrate it. You welcome the challenge. You take a deep breath, you put a smile on your face, you look up and you go, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find out what's in me. I'm going to go forward and accomplish this. And as I do that, I will keep growing. I'll keep stretching. I'll keep uh, daring something worthy. My favorite phrase, dare something worthy. As your compass moves you, go with the flow. That's your divine mission. Gratitude is one of the most important emotions that we can hold in our life because it recognizes that we are living in harmony with the universe and accepting what the universe has to offer. And in this way, the universe provides us more of the same. Gratitude is essential because gratitude is synonymous with appreciation. What is appreciation? Appreciation is simply increasing in value. For example, your house, when it appreciates,